At the centre of the Merry Widow is Hannah Glowry, this millionaire-ess widow who is one of the great creations of 20th century opera. She is recently widowed and now extremely wealthy. Trying to get back together with her ex, Danilo, who jilted her years ago because she wasn't rich enough. And now, out of principle, Danilo refuses to court her because she is wealthy and he doesn't want her to think it's for the wrong reasons. But suddenly, in this old, patriarchal, dusty world where men are in charge and uh, the ambassadors rule the world and so on, suddenly there's this firebrand young woman who's able to stir things up. She's not tied down to needing to find someone to look after her or someone to provide for her. She, she can do that for herself and that's I think um, quite an inspiring place to be. It's one of the best rom-coms ever written for opera. Oh, the music is absolutely sublime. Every time I come back to the score, it's like, oh, I forgot that was in it. I forgot, oh, there's another way. So it's just jam-packed with amazing numbers, each one after the next and the next. The idea of putting on a piece that is hugely accessible and uh, available to anyone as a really immediate piece of opera or operetta feels like a really exciting thing to be happening at the EMA. And of course, because it's there, we're able to deliver the popular humour and the joy and the zest of it and combine that with absolutely world-class music making. And that's going to be a real treat.